and the damn police like, hey, man, somebody, they asking other people to tell Webby to put it out. They won't go up to him themselves. So they went and told Pimp, hey, man, can you tell Savage to put that weed out? Pimp like, nigga, you go tell Savage, nigga. <laughs> so asking me to go ask the nigga to put oh, it out. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. All these people, man, that, like I said, a lot of them use the Pimp C, uh, the cadence, the beats, the remaking the songs. I know so much about certain people that saying, we getting ready to do it again, but I'm trying to figure out a way to make it, uh, to give it essence. Yeah. Um, I look at it like imitation is the, the, the best form of flattery, but at the same time, when people start doing their research, they really see who really are part of that branch. Yeah. So I don't never like attack or, or worry because if they do they due diligence, they're going to find the trio niggas that's a part of that branch. And the niggas that say like, oh, he's he trying to rap like this. Nigga, I'm from the same gumbo pot. I'm from Port Arthur, Texas. We from the same era, know the same people. So when I do his draw, I'm I'm, I'm doing it and you knowing it. But if I'm doing me, you're going to hear that care. You're going to hear that, uh-huh, no, I'm saying, no, I'm talking about, let's go. You're going to hear that type yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That ain't no mimic of nobody. That's just me. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, that but, country and you rap was tunes. doing that way back then, too. Yeah, Even on the, on the CD that I got from you, I'm like, this dude, you could tell he from over there. And yeah. this was, you got to realize how close this was to when he had passed. Yeah, man. So it wouldn't have been like you was doing anything. It, you was just being you. You yeah. was explaining to me uh, who you were and the branch off of it. Mm -hmm. That's what you was explaining to me. I remember that. You know what I mean? And 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 that was that was a dope. I'm like, dang, man. You know, because at that point, you're trying to grab a piece of him any way you can. And and he would have told me, like, in the studio, he, shit, why would he not say Nigga, stop trying to sound like me if I was. Yeah. But I never was. So when I did my section, I, I, I was like a kid at one time because sometimes he was telling different artists, hey, do this, do that, do that, do it. And I'm thinking like, damn, why he ain't telling me nothing? You know what I mean? And so he told me like, nigga, you can rap, nigga. I don't tell Bun B about what he doing, you know what I mean? So I felt like, hey, that was a damn compliment. Yeah, yeah. Well, and And... I know uh, Boosie had told a story one time about him rapping, and he was like, he'll go take it to Pimp. Pimp be like, nah, go back, that ain't it. He would yeah. always, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't he wasn't easy on you. Yeah, he he never did that to me, and I, I seen him do it to a few people. So I, I wanted it because I thought maybe that was him showing attention in a certain way. But he like, nigga, you could rap. I ain't got to tell you nothing. You know what I mean? Wow, that's and once, dope. And once he told me that, man, I just lean into who I am and do what I do. Did you ever get a chance to uh, meet Boosie and them during that time? I met Boosie, Boosie and uh, Webby and them? I met them multiple times. Okay, so they, they, they knew you and Pimp and them was running in the same circle. Yeah, but you know what I mean? Individuals was having their own situations going on and distracted. Uh, when they think about it, yeah, they, they know, but... We never really had no real deep talks. You know yeah. what I mean? It was always surface kicking it, this and that, this and that. Nothing really. And I would I would think that because when you think about it, I would really uh when you like if me and my team come into a place, mm -hmm. that's me and my team. Yeah. And they team is there. Right. But we still know right. I'm really with pimp right here. Right. So it's gonna make it a you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to make a, a schism. It's going to make a split right there. I remember uh, we was doing a show uh, with Webby. And uh, we was we was in Dallas. And we was at one of them coliseums. And when Webby came in, he he blowing big. He in the damn, uh, what it is, like a civic center type area. And he blowing in that hole. You know what I mean? This ain't Colorado or Cali. And the damn police like, hey, man, somebody, they asking other people to tell Webby to put it out. They won't go up to him themselves. So they went and told Pimp, hey, man, can you tell Savage to put that weed out? Pimp like, nigga, you go tell Savage, nigga. <laughs> so asking me to go ask the nigga to put oh, it out. Man, so that was, and that was the time when the Savage life was going down. Oh, man, nigga, it is shirt Ooh. off, man. Was shit. he the same Webby or did he change or is it the, uh, we just didn't see that side of him because he wasn't more in the public eye during that time or what What was that Webby compared to the Webby we deal with today? Uh, every time I seen him, he was always in, in, in that mode. Okay. I caught him a couple of times and we were able to have 
a good conversation, just me and him at the hotel before going to a show. And uh, we were able to have a real conversation. But other than those couple of times, uh, he always was in that mode. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Man. Cool dude, man. Just got his way of doing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Derek, his brother. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.